her, but once she is awake, she will be running around and trying to find all the tasty food that she loves. Food is very important. So this is Tojo. I'm just going to show you her adorable little face because we're going to look at her features in a minute. So Tojo is a lesser tenrec all the way from the Madagascar marine forest. And this is her fully grown. She's about three years old now. And she may look and act like a hedgehog, but if she was able to speak, she would shout at you, I am not a hedgehog. Okay? These guys have evolved the same way hedgehogs have, and we call it convergent evolution. And it just means that they evolved to have the spikes as protection the same way that hedgehogs do. She held an ecological niche. You can even see her licking herself. She's very adorable. <laughs> Okay, so these are really, really incredible. Now, I can safely tell you that she has no DNA to match a hedgehog at all. She has more DNA to match um, golden moles and otter shrews. They are her close relatives. They are what she evolved from. But her cousins are something much, much bigger. And if you look at Tojo, she kind of has the same features as an elephant. She has large ears and a long nose, just like an elephant does. So Tojo has got DNA closer to match an elephant, aardvarks and manatees than what she has to match an uh, a hedgehog, which is pretty incredible. Now, there's two main differences to tell the difference between Tenrex and hedgehogs. The first one is how they behave. So whenever a hedgehog gets scared, it curls up in a ball and it will hiss and puff itself so that the animal that's trying to eat it, its predator, um, would feel threatened and possibly get spiked. Tenrex, however, they can curl up into a ball and they will do this. But then if that predator comes closer, instead of huffing and puffing and hissing, what they will do is they will uncurl they will charge with their mouth wide open and they will fight back. Tenrex are very feisty little creatures and once they bite you, they do not let go. They hold on until you run away. Okay, so they are very, very feisty. Now, the other big difference between hedgehogs and Tenrex here is if you see a hedgehog, they have paws like your cats and dogs do. Tenrex, if you can see closely, they have little hands just there, okay? And these little hands are really, really important for them living in the understory area of the rainforest because these hands allow them to climb. So they work the same way mine and yours do. So they hold on to things. So she can hold on to branches and stuff upside down. She can crawl herself over. She has very nice long claws as well to help her hold on to things. So Tojo here has little hands to make it easier for her to climb about. Now we're going to have a look at her features and see how they help with her survival because she is very tiny and it's very hard being a small animal in a big world. So Tojo here, she has a very teeny tiny eyes, as you can see. You can barely see them. And this means that her eyesight is not very good. So the smaller the feature, the worse it is. So she's nocturnal, so she comes out at night time. And her small eyes don't work very well, but it's dark. So I can't see well in the dark. Can you? So instead of using her eyesight, she has this very nice long nose. And it's a very good sniffer. So she uses her sense of smell and her ears are pretty big as well. So she'll also use her hearing to help her get along. In life, she also has these very, very long whiskers. Unfortunately, I don't think you can see them on the video, but they come out pretty far and they work the same way that your cat's whiskers work. So she, if their whiskers bend, it means she can't fit through a gap. And if the whiskers fit, it means she can fit. These guys are really incredible. They have all this little excess skin on their body so that they can squeeze through tiny holes that are smaller than their body, which is very, very impressive. It's really good from running away from all them snakes and birds of prey. Okay. 
Now, she normally lives on her own in the wild. These animals are what we call solitary. So the only time you ever really see them come together is when they want to have babies or if they go into what we call tapor. Now, tapor is a type of hibernation state that Tenrex go into for about three to five months. Now, when you all think hibernation, you think bears, they collect blocks of food, they go into a cave and they sleep for quite a while. Tenrex don't have a choice to go into tapor. It's involuntary. So they have to do it. Their body tells them it's time. So what they do is they slow their heart rate down. They slow their breathing down. They reduce their body temperature and they're not very active. They might wake up for food every now and then. But the reason their body does this is when there's a limit supply of food, it means that they um, go into the poor. Oh, you're adorable. Now, what do you think Tojo would like to eat? Me? What do you think this adorable little thing here would love to gnaw on? She is what we call an insectivore, so she loves insects. She eats worms, her favourite is worms. Uh, she'll catch locusts, cockroaches, millipedes. Um, they are known to occasionally eat the odd berry if they need um, water or juice. Um, but other than that, they solely prefer insects. It's a very healthy diet. And in the rainforest, in the understory layer, there's lots of insects climbing around, eating all them juicy berries. And plus, it means she can venture off onto the forest floor, if need be, to find some extra insects if there's not in the understory layer. Now, you think she's this tiny, that, you know, the babies are going to be pretty small as well. I can guarantee that they are when they are born. They look like your thumb. They have no spikes. Their eyes are closed, so you can't see any eyes or anything. And they generally just look like a thumb. But within three days, their spikes grow through because that is their main body protection. So it's the main thing that protects them from their predators. Um, and the main predators that you would find for these guys are fossils, snakes, and birds of prey. So lots of big, scary things for such a little creature. But she is just so adorable, isn't she? You can see how active she's getting now. She just wants food. I understand that completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop Tojo back with some worms so she can eat some worms and have some food. Now, unfortunately, we cannot show you the 3D rainforest pictures that have been coming in today because the technology does not want to work. Um, but we will do a quick recap. So today we have looked at the understory layer of the rainforest. Uh, you have also met Tojo, the Tenrec. Can you remember what features she has to help her live in the understory layer? Can you also remember what is in the understory layer? So your homework for today is to create some animals that live in your understory one. It doesn't have to be a Tenrec. It can be a frog, a snake, whatever you like. They are pretty impressive. Well, guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I apologise that it didn't go according to plan with all the snazzy videos. Um, hopefully, touch wood, tomorrow will go much, much smoother. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on the videos or comment on the posts that we put on Facebook. Uh, we'd love to help you guys get through this very, very hard time. Uh, remember that all our animals have to be looked after here at the zoo, so we do have a crowdfunder page going to help us afford these animals and make sure that they have the best way of life and make, make them realise that nothing's really changed. Our meerkats are beginning to miss a couple of people, so I'm going in for a couple of snuggles, but as soon as all this is over, everything will be up and running, meet the meerkats and everything. So hopefully we get through this and the animals won't realise that anything has happened. So thank you very much for listening. I am so sorry again that it didn't go according to plan. And we will see you soon. Bye.